just so bad. My arms look like the Michelin Man. I feel like Popeye. That's what I feel like. Hi friends, welcome back. It's been a minute. Today we're gonna be talking about lost stock and we're gonna be unboxing my lost stock box. So you might be wondering what is lost stock. In a nutshell, it's a mystery box. You receive a box of three or four items allegedly from brands like Topshop. It costs £35 plus shipping. And they advertise that if you add up the value, the retail value of all the items in your box, that it should come to no less than £70. The USP is that these clothes come from stock that was cancelled by retailers due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And also 37% of the money that you spend on your box goes directly to the Sajida Foundation, which is a non-government organisation in Bangladesh that is directly helping garment workers with cash payments and essential supplies and food parcels. So Lost Stock was seemingly a good solution where everyone wins, garment workers get paid, manufacturers have their stock taken off their hands, no clothes end up in landfill and the consumer that buys the boxes ends up with £70 worth of clothes for 35 quid. So before I open this, you should know that I ordered it on the 19th of June and it arrived on the 30th of October. And in that time, I have not heard good things about lost stock. In fact, I've heard a lot of chat online about lost stock being a scam. I will say that their website is written in such a way that you think it's a charity with really like emotive language throughout and also quotes from factory owners that say things like if coronavirus doesn't kill my workers starvation will which obviously makes you feel like how can I help take my money to help these people basically but make no mistake this is a business this is a for-profit company so putting my Sherlock Holmes hat on for a second and doing a little bit more digging. Callie Russell is the founder of Lost Stock and he is also the founder of Mall Z, which from what I can tell is an app where you can shop for clothes, loads of different brands, designer brands, also fast fashion brands. Ethically, they seem like two very different businesses, but okay. And basically with Mall Z, you get free delivery on those brands if you buy through their website. There is even a link to Lost Stock on the Mallsy website. If you go on Companies House you'll see that Callie Russell only has one active company so I'm guessing that they are one and the same. Of course it's possible that they're not um, but looking at those facts in my opinion they are. I am no like business expert at all <laughs> but what I do know from looking at Companies House is that Mallsy has let me make sure I get this right. 614,855 ordinary shares, which is split between 155 shareholders. All of this is obviously public record on Companies House. I'm not doing anything, you know, dodgy here. This is all in the public domain for people to see. There's a lot of, you know, venture capitalist advisors and startup experts and people who manage businesses amongst the shareholders. And whilst I can't comment on, you know, how they're running their business or how much money they're taking home, it is clear this ain't no charity. Callie very cleverly capitalised on people's want to help others during the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, if the lost stock box had turned out to be a brilliant product, I would just think that he was a really clever, brilliant businessman. He identified a niche. He created a product that people wanted that also helped people. <laughs> Amazing. That's not the case. <laughs> Twitter and YouTube is actually full of people who have received their boxes and found that the items inside in no way have a retail value of £70. In fact, they've even been able to find those specific items for sale right now on the Matalan website for like a fiver. So, Safe to say, the product doesn't really live up to how it's been advertised. I am genuinely excited to see what I've received. I've had a good feel. I will give my honest thoughts about what clothes I've got. You can see I've not opened this at all. 
I have no idea what's inside. So when you buy from Lost Stock, you have some options. At the time I bought mine, there was only an option to buy a box, whereas now you have the option to buy a spring summer box for £35 or a slightly more expensive winter box. I'm assuming because I bought mine in June that the clothes inside are going to be summer clothes, which now it's November is not ideal. They did say that, you know, shipping could take six to eight weeks, you know, four months. Is a bit longer than that but it's fine but from today this is what you can get so you can choose male or female style clothes sizes ranging from small to xxl the age ranges you can choose from now are 16 to 24 25 to 34 35 to 50 and 50 plus you can also choose a color scheme so this has changed again but when i bought my box it was bright darks or neutrals and you can also choose between plain or patterned. I actually bought two boxes because I thought I was helping a really good cause and I still hope that some of my money went towards a good cause. I chose women's clothes for both, plain, neutral, age 25 to 30 for one and patterned brights age 31 to 34 for the other. Also worth mentioning that I only have one delivery and there's definitely two separate deliveries on my order, as in like they both have separate tracking information. So I am still waiting for 50% of my box. And there is part of me that wonders whether it's going to come at all. I have no idea which one this is, whether it's neutrals or patterned. Um, I guess we'll find out. Also, this is a really pedantic question. I know that they have said that due to certain issues people wouldn't be getting boxes they'd be getting bags and that's like fine whatever but literally every single review I've seen everyone's has come in a bag so I am wondering if it was ever a box and if you ordered a lost stock box and got an actual box please leave a comment down below because I would just love to know that they were boxes at one time okay time for the big reveal have I been scammed so It says, this is not a box, it's better. 100% compostable bag, easier to transport and better for the environment. Go bag. So I'm fine with it not being a box. Yeah. Oh. Okay. This is what I have. I can already see that one of my items is very similar to one that I've seen in a review which was one of the Matalan tops. So the first item, these are plastic bags. So, <laughs> because it says plastic bags. Um, so although we've got a compostable bag on the outside, there's quite a bit of plastic on the inside, right? Ooh, okay. This is a little cream top with frilly sleeves. Um, a lot of the reviews that I saw online, the label has just been completely cut out, but they have actually replaced the label in this one with a, let me see if I can focus it in for you, with a lost stock label. So, okay. First impressions are, I don't think it's something I would normally wear. It's got like this little, peplum bottom um, which isn't normally my style but it's not terrible quality I mean it's quite see-through but it's not awful let's have a look at the other label it just says 100% cotton um, so I'm not totally disappointed by that it's got a nice you know pattern embroidered pattern to the fabric it's got nice frilly sleeves it's not a severely basic vest top like I've seen in other reviews so I'll try that on. So it's the next day because I lost all the light when I was filming yesterday so I thought that I would film this in the daylight so you can see the clothes and um, so this is the first top and I'm just wearing it all with plain black jeans Um I really don't like this is worse on than I thought it was gonna be I don't hate the frilly sleeves I have tops with frilly sleeves 
Um, so that's probably the one bit that I kind of don't mind. The material is so thin, like much thinner than I thought it would be. I don't know if you can see, but it's super, super see-through. Like I wouldn't wear this. It's a white top, I'm wearing a white bra and you can see the whole thing. I wouldn't wear this out um, without something underneath. The embroidery sort of pattern that was on the material, um, you can see it, like, it's not awful. It just feels like really cheap, horrible quality. And I'm aware that it probably is cheap clothes. Um, these are probably from fast fashion brands. You know, sometimes fast fashion can feel like decent quality. Well, this does not. It does fit me. That's one plus point. It's a little bit big even. I look ridiculous. This peplum is, I don't wear peplum. It's, I'm like a pear shape kind of gal and it is not flattering at all. Um, if anything, it just makes me look even wider than I am. So yeah. I would give this like a 5 out of 10, maybe just for the frilly sleeves. This is not something I'm going to wear. Number two, more plastic. I'm guessing this is my 25 to 30 box. I'm not sure what to think of this one. It's got like corset. I feel like this is going to make me look like a teddy bear but if I don't like it this kind of um, sort of Peter Pan-esque collar is very on trend at the moment so I could just snip that off and make myself some kind of collar to wear with other tops. I'm not going to spend long in this because I feel naked if I'm really honest and um, this is like a crop top um, uh, with all these ruffles. Honestly, I don't know if you can see my arms are like really tight in this elastic. I feel like a pirate with all these ruffles. It's just so bad. My arms look like the Michelin Man. I feel like Popeye. That's what I feel like. If I was doing fancy dress as Popeye, this would be perfect. But I'm not. Um, so yeah, this is like... <laughs> A two out of ten and it gets those points for this and then this is my final one so I got three items Ooh. this is just a plain t-shirt um, I don't have much to say about that <laughs> I would have expected better quality fabric from something that was for something that's so plain, I would have expected better quality fabric. So we've saved the best to last, which is not saying much because as you can see, this is just a plain navy blue t-shirt. Um, I will say that the quality of this is not very good. So um, it's quite rough. It doesn't feel like soft, nice material at all. Those three items all together don't really feel like they should add up to a retail value of 70 pounds at all. This one is by far my favorite, just because I will probably actually wear this. But yeah, it's just a plain t-shirt. There's not much more to say. Thoroughly disappointed by my three items. I don't know why I don't film everything on my phone because the quality is great. I think I might film the next one on my phone. That would make everything so much easier. Uh, final thoughts. Just save your money. Don't buy a lost stock box. <laughs> uh, it's a scam. <laughs> just, if you wanna help people out, just give some money to charity. I think the money could be better spent directly going to a charity rather than this business. And that's it. So I hope this video was helpful for any of you guys out there who was thinking about buying a Lost Stop box. Um, please like and subscribe down below if you feel like doing so. I'm gonna try and post more videos. See you guys in the next one.